a child has cancer, it is a family crisis. But when the community steps in, it really can make all the difference. How are you? Good. Good to see you. You too. You're so cute. Thank you. So much has changed since Miss Bass had cadence in fifth grade PE. I will tell you, like cadence, like when in class, was always just that bright spirit. So when Miss Bass learned of Cadence's leukemia diagnosis two years ago, she stepped in. It was just kind of placed on my heart, like when I heard about it, that hey, something we got to do something. She promised she'd go bald if the school community raised ten thousand dollars for the family. They did, and so she followed through, allowing Cadence to start the shave <laughs> and even dunk her afterwards. I love her so much. I like, I can't get over that she did that for me. Caden says the treatment was tough. A series of blood transfusions, spinal taps, and endless hospital stays. I feel like there's nothing that can really prepare you for it. It was the most challenging two years of my life. It affected the whole family. Cadence's little brother stood in for her at her fifth grade graduation. Cadence focused on getting well and just recently celebrating the end of treatment by ringing the bell and participating in the Miss Indy Juneteenth beauty pageant. I got second place, guys! I am just amazed by the fact that she does not look like what she's been through and she came back full throttle fighting. And in that time, Miss Bass hair grew back too. I would do it again in a heartbeat. Um, it's just a small token of what she really went through and what she endured. Miss Bass got promoted. She's now the assistant AD at North Central, meaning this pair is going to reunite soon when Cadence is a freshman. And I was just like, you know, watching miracles happen right in front of your eyes. Uh, <laughs>